Before an injury, sideline champion Jose Aldo, Josh Grisby was scheduled to fight for the UFC featherweight crown. The phenom from New England insisted on keeping his date in the octagon. And after four straight first round wins over the likes of Jens Pulver, L.C. Davis, and Mark Hominick, Grisby will look to make it five in a row against Dustin Poirier. The Louisiana native has shown maturity beyond his 21 years on the way to an eight and one record that includes a lightning fast 53 second knockout of Zach Mickelwright. Coming up next, Dustin, the Diamond Poirier, faces Josh, the Fluke Grisby. Fighting out of the Gladiators Academy in Lafayette, Louisiana. The Diamond, 21 years old, eight and one in his mixed martial arts career. One and one in the WEC, coming off a 53 second TKO, as we mentioned a moment ago. Yeah, very, very young man, 21 years of age. And uh, that is, uh, that's a, wow. an awesome advantage to have, to be so young and be making your UFC debut. Lots and lots of room for growth. Training with Tim Crater, crazy Tim, who we've seen many, many times here in the Octagon. So you know he's getting in some good training. First ever fight at 145 was his time spent in the WEC. The combined age of these two fighters, Joe, Josh Grisby and Dustin Poirier would still be four years younger than UFC Hall of Famer Randy Couture. Yeah, they're my age, <laughs> the two of them together. That's there ridiculous. You, there you go. I'm old. <laughs> Poirier hadn't been at 145 since seventh grade, but he feels good. He said the weight cut went very well. He has finished all eight of his victories, and he's looking for a huge statement here tonight in his first trip inside the octagon. Dustin Poirier. His opponent, Josh Grisby, originally scheduled to fight Jose Aldo tonight for the UFC featherweight title. Unfortunately, the champion set back by injury. Grisby's response, I still want to fight on January 1st. I still want to go in and do battle. Well, he has been looking fantastic in the octagon, having submitted Elsie Davis in his last fight, submitting Jens Pulver. He TKO'd Micah Miller. I mean, he is, uh, you know, he's really on a tear. And one of the most promising young guys at 145 pounds. Really disappointed he didn't get a chance at a shot at the title and the champion, Jose Aldo. But he wants to keep moving, wants to keep that momentum going, and uh, really looking forward to putting on a great performance in his first official fight in the UFC. Actually made his WEC debut four months earlier than Jose Aldo did. 4-0, eight straight first round finishes overall. The winner of 10 straight fights, in fact, in his career, Grisby 14 and 1, Joe, he's only been out of the first round one time in 15 fights. Well, I've been hearing about this kid for years, and that's uh, pretty impressive considering that he's only 22 years of age. Just a tremendous amount of potential. Good battle here, live on Ion Television. Grisby and Poirier. A tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. We mentioned the age. 21-year-old against 22-year-old. Grisby, two inches taller. He will have a slight reach advantage with the introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man holds a professional record of eight wins, one loss. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man holds a professional record, 14 wins, one loss. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Rockland, Massachusetts, Josh the Fluke. Rispy! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Steve Mazzagatti. Steve Mazzagatti, our referee. 
For this fight at 145 pounds, the beautiful Brittany making her UFC debut tonight. Ariane, Shondella, Brittany, Happy New Year, right, one gentlemen. and all. Here we go, bring it on, come on. We are underway. Black trunks for Josh Crispy, white trunks for Dustin Poirier. You can see right off the bat, Crispy was leaning towards a kick. You can see him, oh, nice front kick there for Poirier. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Poirier composed Damn. early. Yeah, Poirier would love to spoil the Josh Grisby party. There's a lot of hype behind this young kid, and he would love to take it and make it his own. Poirier yes. said pre-fight, he, he feels there are holes in Josh Grisby's game, and he will expose them. Right now, he's showing some excellent stand-up, especially with that front kick and the inside leg kick. Ooh, Josh Grisby jumps up into guard here. That's a, an interesting choice. Half of his wins in his career by submission for Grisby. And Grisby has the left arm tied up. No way he can stop it. Good body punch there. And Poirier turns him around, has him pressed up against the cage. Over the top with a quick elbow. Don't forget, UFC 125 is live on pay-per-view tonight. Order now. UFC champion Frankie Edgar, Gray Maynard, in the rematch for the world lightweight title. Four-time knockout of the night winner, Chris Lieben, takes on Brian Stan. Call your cable or satellite provider, use your remote, or go to UFC.com for ordering information. And don't forget Brandon Vera versus oh. Tiago Silva. Woo. Nate Diaz, oh, ultimate yeah. fighter winner on the card tonight. The battle of the tie clinch here, and Poirier won it. Yep. Poirier is turning it on here, Mike. Really good start for the kid from Louisiana. Caught him again. I'm really impressed with this kid. And he forces Grisby to try to take him down. And Grisby winds up on the bottom. You hear his corner say, let him up. Boye comes in. Not with all the type of pressure on him that Grisby has. As you said, all the hype, the significance of the fact that Grisby was set to fight for the title before Jose Aldo, Jose Aldo, was set back by injury. And Poye looks very relaxed yeah, as a result to, of it. You have to wonder now whether Grisby is sort of uh, second guessing his decision to fight when he was lined up for a title shot. Oh my! Poye is just lighting him up on the feet, Mike. I love that front kick that he throws. Good sweep here by Grisby, but we got to make sure that he gets on top, and he does not. Poirier turns it around and winds up on top. The question has been, because of all those first-round finishes, what will happen if he's pushed? We might find out tonight. Well, he seems very relaxed. He's yep. not, it doesn't seem like he's having octagon jitters, and he's lighting Grisby up. Beautiful Continuous combination. Oh, he's tagging him. Dustin Poirier. Josh Grisby is in big trouble. And he makes a half-hearted shot there. Poirier on top. This is by far the longest fight for Josh Grisby of his last 10. Josh Grisby looking for a Kimura, loses it. Poirier on top. In the Grisby. last 10 fights, Joey hadn't gone more than two and a half minutes long. Grisby's still trying for that Kimura, yep. Mike. Poirier's in a bit of trouble here. He's got to make sure that he keeps his the leg, uh, his left leg pressed up against his hand so that Grisby can't pull that hand free and stick it behind his back. He's got to keep some weight on that. And when he senses the opportunity, he's got to yank that arm out of there if he can. And Josh Grisby trying to close it off by putting his left leg over the back. And Grisby no longer has two hands tied together. So Poirier's arm is basically free now. He's got to make sure Grisby doesn't tie those arms up to get, together again. 40 seconds now. They're in round one. The arm's pretty much, oh, 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 oh. Now he's in trouble again. Poirier's in trouble. If, he's got to hang on here, because if, if, if Grisby yanks it out and up and beyond, now Grisby no longer has his hands together in the, the double wrist lock hold. So Poirier is no longer in trouble here. 
The arm is still trapped, but it's not in, uh, in danger of being submitted. And now the arm's not even trapped. He's just got a wrist, wrist control on it. Good recognition by Dustin Poirier. Huge, huge round for Dustin Poirier. Tonight's corner cam brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. He's in your world now. He's in your world now, all right? He wants it, he wants it to the ground. He wants it to the ground, all right? Desperately seeking that. Yeah, I'm hurt. This is the first we've seen of Dustin Poirier in the octagon, but he is really putting on a show. And here you see him attacking Josh Grisby. Landed a lot of kicks, especially the inside leg kick and that front kick off the left foot. Look at this. Again, he lands it. Knocked Josh Grisby down. Very early. You've got this fight. Put him on his back. He's just a boxer. Right, show me one more. Getting set for round number two. Dustin Poirier and Josh Grisby. Now, Grisby's got to do something All different right, guys, to turn this two. fight Bring around up. in the second round. In the WEC, all of his four victories were in the first round. All within the first couple of minutes. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by Poirier. Grisby shoots in. But it's stuffed by Poirier, and Poirier turns it around and has him pressed up against the cage. Boye put together some beautiful combinations in round number one. Oh, beautiful elbow. And the uppercuts. My goodness. Grisby is again in trouble in the second round. What a great elbow. And still. He delivers punishment. And Grisby trying for the takedown here, stuffed by Poirier. Grisby's trying to turn the corner now, though. He steps over the leg. They're in the dogfight here. And Poirier back up to his feet. Gris Grisby drags him down into side control, full mount. Turned around by Poirier. In the guard of Josh Grisby. Got to be careful of his neck here. Gets his head out, neck is in, not in trouble. Now he has to be careful of the triangle position. Got some, got to make sure his left arm doesn't get caught in between the two legs. If Grisby can get that left leg over the top and then secure it on his right leg. Poir Poirier's got to make sure, oh, he's got to look out for the armbar too. Now he's going to pass the guard, nicely done. Poirier's out of trouble here. And some quick ground and pound, Joe. Trying to pin that arm down. Man, we have never seen Josh Grisby get worked like this in all of his fights in the WEC. Won his first four MMA fights in under one minute. Was the youngest fighter in New Hampshire history to make his pro debut at age 17. 15 professional fights already for Grisby at age 22. He is battered and bloody here, though. My Poirier is really putting a beating on Josh Grisby. Just you about at the midway point of this fight. You can't count Grisby out. He's a winner. He knows how to win. He's just got to figure out what an angle of attack could possibly be where he can get an advantage. Because right now, on the feet, he's been getting beaten up. And then when he gets to the ground, you know, because of the fact that he's taking so many shots on the feet, he's a little worn down. And Poirier's excellent on the ground as well. So he's been able to control those spots. He shoots again. And as he has his hands clasped together, look at his right leg. He's going to try to turn the corner and step his right leg over the left leg of Poirier, if he can do that. But right now, he's, he's exhausted. He's taking a tremendous amount of punishment. And Poirier able to hold this position. See, now Grisby steps over, like I said, but now he winds up in guard. Too tired to try to turn the corner and put Poirier on his back. But now here he's pressed up against the cage and he'll look to try to attack with some sort of a submission off of his back. Poirier would like to land some elbows and punches from this position. Under 90 seconds now. It's gonna be hard for him to generate power though inside of Josh Grisby's closed guard. Grisby has a tight closed guard. 
Good control. He's gonna get desperate. You know he loses Confident corner of Dustin Poirier. Well, they're saying that he knows he's losing two rounds. He's gonna get desperate. What they worried about is him doing something like this. He threw up the legs for a triangle. Throws him right out of right him and landed a beautiful punch. And another one. That was close, though. That, that triangle was very close. Grisby's not out of it yet. And slowly to get back up to his feet. And eats that inside leg kick again. You see how exhausted Grisby is, the way his punches and kicks are coming now. Hadn't been this deep in the fight in a long time. Poirier got the tie clinch here, Mike. Here comes the knees. Oh. Grisby's got to get out of this spot. 10 seconds on the clock. He's got to put his hands on the hips to try to prevent this. Again with the oh, he's getting jokes. lit up. Grisby's in Elbows. trouble. Steve Mazzagani taking a good look at him. Huge finish to round number two for 21-year-old Dustin Poirier. Tonight's corner cam brought to you by Gosh, the only motorcycles worthy of being in the fighting. octagon. Yeah, Harley Davidson. The, the only problem was you went immediately for the sub. Here's a water, take some water. You have to get the takedown, you're fine. You don't need anything at all, just that one little cut. All you have to do is suck it up, get this one takedown, get top position, beat him up for a couple minutes, he'll try to get out that position. Establish and here we see Poirier with a vicious elbow inside and a nice uppercut as well. And again and again, right hand, left hook. Chases him down. And here's that tie clinch again. Look at these knees, Mike. Just vicious knees and uppercut. And Josh Grisby tried to take him down there, but was unsuccessful. Poirier just really hammering Josh Grisby. Two huge rounds for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Fighting for the first time ever at 145. And look at him, he doesn't even look tired. Nope, said I haven't been 145 right, since seventh going. grade. Bring it on, which for Poirier actually wasn't that long ago though. Yeah, it was yesterday. <laughs> exactly. A couple of fights at 55 in the WEC. Grisby. Nice inside leg kick as well by Poirier. Needs to try to find the solution for the diamond. Well, in retrospect, it's probably a good thing that Josh Grisby didn't fight Jose Aldo. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's a, he's a young kid, he's learning, and this is going to be a learning experience for him as well. Because uh, if Poirier could do this to him, I would hate to see what Jose Aldo could do to him. That said, as you pointed out earlier, Grisby's slick. He's got a wicked guillotine, and there's still four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. And he's a winner. He yep. knows how to win. Yep. And he's never going to give up. You can beat him, but he's not going to beat himself. Poirier got the tie clinch again here. Yes. And here comes the knees. Good combination. Attacking with that inside leg kick over and over again to the left thigh of Josh Grisby. Step over the leg. Step over it again. Live on pay-per-view, top of the hour, UFC 125, Frankie Edgar, Gray Maynard. For the lightweight title, Chris Lee and Brian Stan, and so much more. Call your cable or satellite provider, use your remote, or go to UFC.com for ordering information. Tonight's pay-per-view also available in 100% Spanish. Again, Poirier turning it on. Josh Grisby has got to do something dramatic here, Mike. In my opinion, he's got to try to either knock him out or, or find some way to submit him. But he's had no success in the striking or on the ground, really. You talked There's about an opening right there for a triangle. If he can grab a hold of his left ankle and stiff his, stuff his right knee through. Nope. You talked about late in the first round how Grisby had Poirier in a little bit of a bad situation, the way he had Poirier's arm. But other than that, Joe, it's been all dusted. Yeah, really, and he never really had it out. He locked up the, uh, the Kimura position, but right. never really pulled the arm out and get close to submitting it. Another knee by Poirier. Confident young man. Well, we learned Justin, uh, excuse me, Josh Grisby can take it. That's for sure. He's taken a tremendous amount of punishment in these three rounds. And there's another nice knee. And Grisby has a hold of his knee now and wants to try to get Poirier down. And he does. Now it 
let's see what we got. We got Grisby with Poirier on his back. Grisby trying to turn the corner and pass the guard, pushing down on the right thigh, trying to step over and get into side control. Poirier trying to stop it. Grisby into half guard here. He's got his right leg trapped in between the two legs of Poirier. Would like to get that free to try to submit him. There are a few submissions from this position, especially the Kimura. Note the left arm of Poirier, the one that he's got wrapped around Josh Grisby's neck. If he can keep that arm, hold on to it. That's really the only submission he can try to get a hold of here in half guard. Other than that, there's a, there's a guillotine, Americana. Let's see if he can get out of this spot here. He's got to get that left leg free. He's trying to step over it, but no, Poirier puts him in full guard now. Better position for Poirier. Josh Grisby trying to sneak out to the left side. The side that has the butterfly hooks, which is Poirier's right leg. That butterfly hook is, uh, he's trying to elevate his weight and he stepped over it. Now he's got to press down on the knee. It's just a little bit of too little too late here. He's really got to do something dramatic. And he can't be patient here. He's got to move at a very, very fast pace. He's got just a bit over a minute to go. And in my opinion, and I, I think you probably agree, he's got to submit him here. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, there's no, I mean, if, if somehow or another the judges have scored those rounds for, I don't even want to say it, adult. Okay, here he is, moves into side control, beautiful. 50 Keep seconds. talking about the judging. Boye, Grisby, final minute of this fight. And Grisby, he's got to try to do something here. He's got his arm wrapped under the neck. There's a submission here. Oh, nope. Poirier popped right out of it, back into full guard, 30, 30 seconds, seconds to go. Josh Grisby back at stage one. He's got to pass again and try one more time. Poirier basically just holding on here. When we see where Poirier is weaker, he's definitely weaker off of his back. Much, much stronger in the stand-up position and in the top position. Well, Poirier thought he could expose some holes in Grisby's game. And he has absolutely done that tonight here in Las Vegas. Absolutely. Tremendous performance by Dustin Poirier. We will go to the judges' scorecards as this fight goes the distance. Confident and consistent performance tonight by Poirier. Really, really impressive, especially considering all the hype that was on Josh Grisby coming in here to this fight. Look at Dustin Poirier just pouring it on. This was really the significant advantage that he had in this fight, Mike, was in the stand-up. And his kicks and his punches, beautiful inside leg kicks. And here, right here, you see Josh Grisby came real close to a triangle. Almost locked it up. Poirier slammed him out of it, passed the guard, landed some ground and pound. And here's some nasty, dirty boxing here by Poirier. I mean, uh, one thing we found out about Josh Grisby from this fight, never Glad quits Academy, and baby. can take a tremendous amount of punishment. But that is a very promising new contender in the 145 pound division in Dustin Diamond Poirier. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored this contest 30 and 27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Dustin, the Diamond Poirier! Yeah. Yeah. Hard work, baby. Huge victory tonight for Dustin Poirier. He defeats top contender Josh Grisby.